Good evening to you, Tamson and Corey. That's right, 20 firefighters injured in less than 10 hours. No working smoke detectors in the two Queens fires, including in the Bosra home right behind me here. Two nine year old cousins are in the intensive care unit of Cornell Weill Medical Center, and the FDNY is responsible for saving their lives. It's heartbreaking when you pick up a child. She wasn't responsive. For firefighter Akira Rodriguez, it was his first rescue ever, and he knew he had to save two little girls, nine year old cousins, Sharon and Jasmine Basra. They were both trapped inside a back second floor bedroom with flames all around in their two family home on 71st Street in Jackson Heights. The fire officials say had been started by a candle in a shrine in a second floor closet. I began first aid doing uh, mouth to mouth. Um, she, like I said, was uh, most, she was unresponsive. By the time we put her on the, uh, on the uh, stretcher, she was, um, she was uh, breathing on her own. Wish, uh, you know, nothing but prayers for her and her family. And they did a great job. I'm proud of them. You know, my kids are safe. You know, they're in safe hands, but I'm, I'm not worried about the house. You know, it can, can rebuild everything, you know, but my kids are safe. Just minutes earlier, 12-year-old Tyson Boswell grabbed his 7-year-old nephew, Deshaun, and jumped out a second-floor window onto this mattress below, scared with scraped arms and quite a story to tell. It didn't feel so good because I did not land, like, properly. I landed pretty awkwardly. Where did you land? I landed on my, on my back. What did that feel like, jumping out the window with your uncle? Not that bad. No, that <laughs> it wasn't so bad. He had you. You felt safe with your uncle? Yeah. And just five hours later, on K Street in Elmhurst, a two alarm fire broke out. Seven more injured firefighters, a daring rescue, and sadly again, no working smoke detectors in place. So, the one thing I would encourage every resident of the city of New York today, before you go to bed, check your smoke detector. We could prevent these injuries and fatalities with a very simple low-cost technology that is available today. And Maine de Basler assured me that in the future, the Basler family very soon will be getting working smoke detectors. And also the FDNY Foundation and the Red Cross will provide smoke detectors for free if you apply. Meanwhile, the Basler family will be staying with relatives until their home is repaired. We are live in Jackson Heights, Queens. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News.